Welcome to this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com where we're covering all the tools in Photoshop. These tutorials are always longer than 30 seconds, but the name sticks, so we still use it. Today we're going to talk about, and I thought I, I gave some thought to this, by the way, trying to figure out an interesting way to talk about the shape tools, which we've covered the rectangle, round to rectangle, the ellipse and polygon tools. We've done those in two days. And today we're going to talk about the line tool and the custom shape tool. They're pretty boring. I mean, let's be honest. It's a line. Um, but it can still do some interesting things. So let's check this out. I'm going to give it this green fill color, right? So I've given what you would think is a stroke, a fill color, and not a stroke. Stick with me here for a second. We're going to draw a line right across our document here. And you can see, sure enough, there's a one pixel green line. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to zoom back out. I'm going to grab the line tool again. So what's going on here? Well, what's happening is the weight... The weight is determining the size of the line, not the size of the stroke. So it can be a little deceiving when you uh, consider using this tool. I almost always work with it as a shape. You can just use this to create a very long, thin rectangular path or, of course, just pixels. We're working with it as a shape tool, though. So if I change the weight to, like, 10 pixels, right, and I draw that same line, you can see that I have a much thicker line appearing uh, across the screen. That's, uh, that's kind of cool. I'll undo that. Let's go back to the tool. Let's make it something we can really see here on this recording. I'm going to go 35 pixels. No, I'm not. I'm going to go... I'm going to go 75 pixels, so a very thick line, right? So essentially, it's a long, thin rectangle. Now, if I select it and I select the line tool again, I can always edit uh, the settings or the, the features or whatever, the properties, I guess I should say, of this line. So I can adjust the width. I can adjust the height, right? If I need to take it to uh, 100 pixels tall, just punch in 100, and you can see it's taller. Great. We have some settings here. This is kind of neat. We can throw an arrowhead onto uh, our line. Well... I should say, it doesn't throw the arrowhead onto a line that's already created. We need to create a new line to get an arrowhead. We'll demo that in just a second. Um, but like it's, it's uh, like I mentioned before, I'm sorry, you want to notice that there's just not a stroke. If you add a stroke, which you can do, it's going to throw a stroke onto uh, the shape. But essentially, you got to think of the line tool not really as a line so much as a very long, thin rectangle, which I guess is really what every line is at the end of the day. But even more so, uh, with this tool in Photoshop. I'm going to can the stroke. I don't want that. Um, so let's uh, delete this and let's explore this arrowhead thing. So we can throw an arrowhead on the start or the end of the line. I like to throw them on the end if I'm going to use it. Um, and a width of like 250% and a length of like 500 is kind of more like a normal arrow size. So you can see I can draw it out and uh, there we go. We have a, we got a nice arrow. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's change that a little bit. Let's make the length 250, just like the width. And we get a beautiful, a beautiful arrowhead, just like that. Uh, now, of course, if we take the line tool and we throw an arrowhead on the start as well, well, just as you uh, may well have imagined, we get an arrowhead on both sides of the, uh, of the line. And you can also change the concavity, which is like how, well... Let's just set it to like 25% and I'll show you. It's kind of difficult to explain, but it's how much the backside of the arrowhead, uh, you know, becomes concave to the back of the actual arrowhead itself. So uh, you have, just know you have that option with the line tool. So line tool, pretty kind of boring. Custom shape tool, it's very simple. It works just like the rest of the shape tools. You can watch the tutorials I did on the rectangle and ellipse polygon around a rectangle tool, yada, yada, yada. All the same stuff, except over here, I'm sorry, over here, you hit the thumbnail and you can bring up a drop down of all the shapes you have in Photoshop. You can hit the little fly out menu, and this is just like a little tip, and just choose to load all of the shapes. Um, a lot of people don't know that, and you can just hit OK, just bring in the whole entire stack of default Photoshop shapes so you can play with them all here. Now, I should actually just point out if you uh, want to add to the shapes that you have in Photoshop, you can use something like the pen tool or any of the other shape tools for that matter, uh, and go ahead and just draw out, I don't know, just draw out a shape like this, right? Boom, cool. Uh, yes, let's make this a shape layer. All right, it's so just a big green blob, and then we can go edit, uh, define custom shape. We can call it blob. Great. Delete blob. Go back to the custom shape tool. And down here at the bottom of our custom shapes, we now have blob that we can drag out and drop wherever we want. So you can always define a custom shape if you're doing a project where you have to do lots and lots of the same shape over and over and over again. So that's useful. But, you know, it's a custom shape tool. It's kind of boring. It works just like the rest of the shape tools. And I feel like I've already spent too much time talking about the shape tools. So if you want to check out all the ins and outs of how to use this and all the cool hotkeys uh, that go along with these tools... Check out yesterday and the day before's PS in 30 tutorials um, on how to use these other tools. So, for the line tool, 
for the custom shape tool and for all the shape tools in Photoshop. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. NathanielDodsonTutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.